This video will cover the experience as a student in Lab Archives. Lab Archives is an electronic lab notebook. We are cloud-based. This means you can securely access your lab notebook online and receive feedback from your instructor. Your instructor may provide you a link to sign up for Lab Archives, or you may receive an email inviting you to your course like this one. Either way, you'll follow that link to create an account to access your course notebook. When you log in, you may see an alert to pay for your course. If you don't pay past the grace period, your notebook will go into read-only mode. If you're using Lab Archives for multiple courses, you can click this Notebooks button up here to bring up a list of all the notebooks that you have access to. Your instructor has designed your notebook. All students start with the exact same notebook. This acts as a template for organizing your work. Your notebook may contain folders and subfolders and pages. Your instructor may expect you to organize your own work. Your instructor can view, edit, and add new content to your notebook throughout the semester. Data in Lab Archives is organized as entries on a page. You can add entries to this page by selecting this plus new button at the top right. This shows all the entry types you can add to this page. To add an entry to a specific location, hover your mouse between two entries. You'll see this insert flag, and when you click, you're able to choose all the same entry types as that plus new button at the top. This yellow box right here is an assignment entry. Most instructors add an assignment entry to pages that need to be submitted for grading. As a student, the assignment entry is very important. An assignment entry indicates that on this page, you'll need to either answer questions, add data, or follow instructions given by your instructor, and then submit. To edit a rich text entry like this one, hover over the entry and click this pencil icon. You can then add, edit, and format text in any way that you'd like. And then when you're finished, click Save to Page. Now, as you can see at the top right hand side of every entry, you see a timestamp. This indicates the most recent change made to that entry. Every action that you take in your lab notebook is recorded in the Lab Archives revisions history. If you accidentally delete or change part of your notebook, you can always recover that data. You can also add attachments of any file type to the page by dragging and dropping a file right onto the page or by clicking this plus new button and selecting attachment. Click this add files button to select a file from your computer and then click save to page. Now Lab Archives does include a PDF viewer, an image annotator, and you can even edit Office documents using our Office Online. Just hover over any Office document and then click this pencil icon which will open the document up in a new tab where you can make edits. Now, when you're ready to submit the assignment, go up to the assignment entry and click this update and submit button. If you are submitting a group assignment, you can indicate your partners here and then indicate which student's notebook the work is located. After you click submit, you may see this message. This indicates that page locking is turned on for your course. After you submit this assignment, the page will lock. And you will not be able to make any changes to the page until your instructor unlocks the page for you. Now, when your work is graded, you will receive a notification at the top right at this bell icon. And to view your grades, you can click the triple dot icon, Utilities, View Grades. And if you go to a graded page, you will see a grade in the assignment entry and any feedback or corrections that your instructor has added. If your instructor has added comments to an entry, you'll see them in the comments section and you can reply to comments and mention your instructor to alert them. At the end of your course, you may want to download your entire notebook to add to your professional portfolio. 
You can download your notebook by going to the triple dot menu, Utilities, and select Notebook to PDF. And of course, if you want to learn more about all the tools available in Lab Archives, you can check out our Knowledge Base. To access that, click the eye icon and select Knowledge Base. And if you have any questions or need any help, please reach out to us at support at labarchives.com.